so quickly. Mama. Yes, Macy. Mama. Uh huh. Mama. Yes. Mama. You're gonna say. Mama. Mama. Yes. Mama. What? Mama. Yeah. Mama. Uh huh. Mama. Yes. We are having a random snack of spaghetti and grapes. I filmed this video already while this little munchkin was at school and then I deleted it off of my phone and I don't have the cloud so I just lost it entirely. But I wanted to just throw out, you know, a quick update to my channel. Um, logging this weird detour down the TTC journey that I am on right now. Um, I have my specialist appointment tomorrow at the hospital. And I'm really excited and also anxious because it's gonna be very telling tomorrow you know, what what all of it means. So, you know, I'm gonna go there and either I'm going to find out what is going on with my body and get some sort of useful critique, um, diagnosis, and maybe some hopeful news that everything is good and we can start TTCing now or, you know, start now with ongoing physical therapy. Otherwise, I'm afraid I'm just gonna become a number in the healthcare system where I just spend months and months and months queuing for different doctor's appointments and whatever. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, just watch any of the last two videos I filmed where I talk about a birth injury that I got a year and a half ago and how it's still causing me some problems and I'm getting it checked out to make sure that a future pregnancy won't leave me like crippled in pain or disabled forever. And I'm exaggerating. It's like not that bad, but I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I don't know what's going on and I don't want to spend nine months in writhing pain. Yeah, so that's that doesn't sound fun. So anyway, best case scenario is I go in, I talk to a very competent doctor who decides to do an x-ray on the spot, which I know is not gonna happen, but a girl can hope. Um, or an ultrasound or something, or that I can at least get those diagnostics on the calendar within like a couple weeks and not within a couple months. Um, I would really like to have the sort of quantitative evidence of what is going on with my body. Um, and whether or not there might actually be something structurally wrong with my pelvis that would suggest that I either do quite a bit of physical therapy or else reconsider our TTC plans. My biggest fear is that I'm going to go in there and, you know, talk about my issues and have them be like, well, it could be this, it could be that you know, do these five exercises and, you know, call us back in two to three months. And if it's not better, then, you know, maybe we can do an x-ray or whatever. Like, I don't have that time. I don't have that time. I am going to be 35 this year. Oh my gosh, Macy. I don't have that time, you guys. So I kind of feel like on a more exaggerated scale, I'm gonna be going into this appointment tomorrow either to learn that it's okay for us to have another kid or it's not okay for us to have another kid. So we'll see. Oh no! <laughs> no! Oh no! You know, those are my options. Either I'm gonna get an answer or I'm gonna get strung along for God knows how long or the doctor's gonna say, it's totally fine. Like, if you have issues in a pregnancy, then we'll just put you into physical therapy or else they're gonna say, yeah, this doesn't sound so good and you really need to wait and we gotta get you in and... Oh. So that that's my fate tomorrow. And the like most stressful thing out of all of it is that, oh, hi, Edith. The thing that is the most stressful out of all of this is that I'm going to have this little munchkin with me who screams bloody murder when she is strapped 
into a stroller or any sort of confinement, but it's just going to be me and her, and I'm going to need a pelvic exam during this appointment. So she's going to have to be strapped into her... Are you all done? She's going to need to be strapped into her stroller during the appointment. So it's going to be really messy, and there's probably going to be a lot of crying from both of us. And to make matters worse, I don't know where I'm going. I don't... You know, it is 10... Minus 10... Minus 12 degrees outside right now and snowing. And I'm driving an hour away with my toddler in this weather to go to a hospital. I don't know where to go. Like the reception situation here is really weird. You gotta go to like the one building, you gotta take a number, you gotta pay and I mean, it's a negligible amount, but you gotta wait in this line. And then you gotta, I gotta find the gynecologue multognium. It's gonna be a long day, but I am going to get some sort of answer or counsel tomorrow, and I'm very grateful for that. It's a step in the right direction, and I plan on coming on here to update my channel either tomorrow or the following day with whatever the prognosis is. So send me some like happy healing diagnosis vibes because I could really use them. I feel like the outcome of just this one appointment has such a huge impact on my entire future. So we shall see. And um, anyway, yeah, so stay tuned. I plan to post a update in a couple days with my diagnostic results. Okay, bye guys.